Hey guys, today I want to do a fun experiment and I want to compare the Trinov Nova with Sonarworks implementation done by Universal Audio inside the console. I'm a beta tester for the Apollo monitor correction, so I have the ability to test the feature out. And since I am a Nova owner, I want to take the opportunity to compare the two. I am a Nova believer. I've used it for more than a year and I am pretty happy with the results. I was able to make the switch from a home studio to this studio right now, a bit more smoother with uh, the Nova. And I was able to switch my monitors because of the Nova. If we are comparing the Nova with the Sonarworks, we have to do the switch instantly. We cannot do the comparison if we are relying on our memory. We are remembering what we heard a couple of minutes ago. I reached out to my friends uh, here at Zido Shop in Romania. I got myself a monitor controller, the Nero from Audient. That uh, monitor controller has two sources, so two inputs. A great feature on the Apollo lineup is that we have digital mirroring on the monitor output. That means we have a signal going to the monitor output on the X16 and that signal is mirrored to the digital out. The digital out is where the Nova is connected. So we have the same signal going out to the Apollo monitor correction inside console and the same signal going to the Nova. The Nova is connected to one of the inputs on the Nero. The monitor output from the UA Apollo is connected to the other one. And with the switch of a button, I can listen either to the Nova or to the output of the X16, where we have the Apollo monitor correction. This is the Nero from uh, Audient. It's a monitor controller. It's active from uh, what I know. On the main output, we have the eaves. And then on the input side, we have the two sources. One of the sources is the Nova and the other one is the Apollo. With a switch of a button, I can listen to the two almost seamlessly with just a small latency when the, the Nova is uh, engaged. I will be bypassing the output knob on the Apollo because I will be using the narrow output. I'm doing that so the level between the Nova and the Apollo stays the same. And here's the setup from the back. We have the eaves here and then the two sources, the Nova and the Apollo. The Nova and the Apollo getting in, signal sent out to the eaves. That's the setup. What I want to do is bring a couple of people into the studio and without telling them too much, I want to let them listen to some of their favorite tracks. This is going to be a blind test. I will not tell them which is which, which is the Nova and which is the X16 output. I want to ask them what they prefer, what they are feeling about the, the monitor correction done by the two sources. And to be fair, I know that this test is going to be a bit flawed. Let me explain why. Nova has a short latency that I can hear it. I know when switching between the two sources, which source is Nova, because it has a short delay from the other source. That's the first thing. The second thing is, I cannot perfectly match in a scientific way the levels that are going in from the Nova and from the X16. I can match them by year and I think I've done a pretty good job, but they are not perfectly matched in a scientific way, measured or anything like that. It's just done by me by year. The Nova has 1 dB increments, so it's a bit difficult to make small, small adjustments to the level. The last thing that I want to mention is the human error done when measuring. The measurement done on the Nova is two months old when I got the eaves. The measurement done on uh, the Sonarworks is more recent, uh, but they are flawed because they are not perfect. I didn't spend enough time to make the measurement in a perfect way. But I think it's good enough for this fun little experiment. So before bashing me in the comment section that I've done a couple of mistakes, please consider what I've uh, just said. First, I wanna let my colleagues do this uh, little experiment 
and I will get at the end of the video with what I think. Okay. Bă, ăsta de jos. Îmi place unul? Da. Ok. Îți place unul mai mult. Da. Maspana. Yeah. Aud băzitul de la chitară. Are, nu știu, simt așa că după tranzient, reacția de după tranzient a muzicii în relație cu mediul înconjurător, prinde o chestie și nu știu dacă e din analiza camerei sau e din felul în care da. face lucrurile, dar pot să, pot să percep detaliul ăsta. De la doi îmi place foarte, îmi place. Cumva low end îmi, îmi oferă o poză un pic diferită față de primul, da. dar tot primul îmi place mai mult. Deci sursa a doi are mai mult bas. Sursa a unu e mai flat așa. Asta o dată pe EQ. Mm. Și unul le are și ceva în alte, 10.000 ceva, 8.000 ceva mai țâțit, mai... Mi-e place mai mult sursa 2 Simt centru, corect Sursa 1 are un stereo mai mare El simt că e mai, are side-urile mai în față E mai wide Ceva șters acolo în centru, nu e ceva foarte clar Bine Sursa 1 e mai deschisă pe medii Tare mai deschisă pe medii Pe medii mai deschisă Sursa 2 aia care îți place Nova Da 4.000 de euro. <laughs> ok. <laughs> Hai să pe intro. Mi se pare că prima sursă e, un... e mai plină și a doua sursă e un pic mai ștarsă. Da, pe prima sursă mi se pare că ai și un pic mai mult sub și și mediile un pic mai prezente. Pe a doua sursă mi se pare că auzi un pic mai multe înalte, dar e mai șters un pic sunetul. Prima sursă. Bă, deci pe sursa 2 mi se pare low end mult mai închegat, mult mai tight și cealaltă e mai fat și are alte medii cumva, dar 2 îmi place. 2 îmi place. Vrei să-ți și care ești? Da, normal. Deci sursa 1 e zona Voxu. Da. Mi se pare că sursa 1 e mai pe un alt, o simt eu un pic. Mai deschisă. Mai deschisă, da, exact. Mai pe high-end. Sursa 2 mi se pare mai lipită, cumva, nu știu cum să zic. Deci eu personal o să aleg sursa 2, deși diferențele sunt minore. Before sharing my final thoughts on this uh, fun experiment, I just want to show you the measurements that I took with the Nova and with sound ID so you can understand a bit better what my colleagues were listening to let's start with the measurement taken by sound ID we are looking at sound ID reference from uh, Sonarworks this is the measurement a lot of bass in the room it's not that bad with uh, sound ID then we have a dip in the lower mids then things are a bit more on the flat side this is the calibration curve and This is the simulated after. Now, if we jump to Nova, this is the, the measurement. Things are a bit more precise and a bit more drastic with the Nova. You can see that the peaks are a bit higher. On the sound ID, we had 6 dB or under 6 dB. On the Nova, we have almost 10 dB peak at 77 Hz, then a big dip at 90, other small dips at 120, 140, and above that things get uh, a bit more flattened out, so the after looks something like uh, this with the Nova. If you ask me, the measurements are pretty different, but if you zoom out, on a larger scale they are similar 
we have too much base, we have a dip in the lower mids, then things are a bit more flat. So both Nova and uh, Sound ID managed to capture that. The process of measuring is also really different. With the Nova, we have a microphone and a single measurement. You can do multi-point measurements to create a larger sweet spot or to change the sweet spot. With uh, Sound ID, you have to measure 37 points, I think. So it's a different process altogether. Now let's talk about what I think and how I feel about this uh, experiment. I've been using Nova and the AMC Apollo monitor correction for more than five days now. I was surprised by the fact that Sound ID implementation in the UA console hold its ground so good because a couple of people said that there isn't a big difference. I was expecting a more polarized opinions and a more night-to-day difference from the Nova to the Sonarworks. To be honest, in the past, I wasn't a big fan of the Sonarworks correction. I was uh, an early adopter way back, more than uh, five years ago, when they released the third version of their uh, software. I purchased one, I've done the measurements, I wasn't happy with the results. Now with all the updates, the implementation done in the Apollo units sound pretty good. Will I be selling my Nova? The short answer is no. But what I want to do now is go with this experiment a bit further. I will use just the AMC, the Apollo monitor correction for an entire month before making a review. Because this five days working with uh, both showed me that it's possible to get great results on both systems. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, drop a like. Thanks for the support and see you guys uh, really soon.